U.S. First Lady Melania Trump arrives in Ghana Tuesday to kick off a four-nation trip to Africa. Ghanaian President Nana Kufo-Addo says it is a sign of the importance President Donald Trump places on U.S. ties with Ghana. VOS Peter Claude spoke with President Kufo-Addo about the First Lady's visit and Ghana's relationship with foreign investors. It's good. This is the wife of... Uh the President of the United States, a country uh, with whom we have very good relations. And we are taking it that the President sending his wife to come and visit us is, is also trying to make a statement about the relations between America and, and Ghana. So we, re we welcome it very much. Well, my wife is excited about the possibility of her hosting the U.S. First Lady, and so we can we make sure that the I think the two days she's spending in Ghana, I believe, uh, are eventful and memorable for her and for us also in Ghana. One of the most critical promises you made to Ghanaians is Ghana Beyond Aid. What is the time period to actualizing or realizing this vision? And do you think it is possible before you seek re-election? There is, first of all, if you like, the mobilizing theme. The Ghana recognizing that we have to do things for ourselves. Uh, we can't continue 61 years after independence to be dependent on foreign assistance. So if you are looking for uh, indices, the indices are the steps we will take to reduce that dependence. When we're talking Ghana beyond aid, it's, it's important that the world does not misunderstand us. We're not saying that we do not need partnerships. We're not saying that we don't need cooperation with others. On the contrary, what we're saying is that we prefer that we have relations with countries, say, like America, which are based on trade and investment, cooperation, rather than us sitting down and saying what USAID can do for us, what X other American agency can do for us, but that we have a relationship where our business people, American business people, are cooperating to develop businesses in Ghana and grow the Ghanaian economy, we're able to give jobs to our people. So that's the overall framework. But above all, it is a call on Ghanaians to lift up their heads to say, look at this country that we have. It has so much resources in the soil, in the ground, in our oceans. How best can we harness all these resources so that we can develop our country quickly? Some People have expressed concern that the recent contractual loans or barter system that your administration has entered into with China undercuts the, your vision of Ghana Beyond Aid. What do you say to some of your critics who say that? I, I, I can't understand that, that, that with respect. I don't understand the thinking. What is, this, what is being suggested that um, we... We are some little island all are by ourselves. We're cut off from international cooperation and exist, and then we, we don't have relations with other people. No. I think that, it, on the contrary, the arrangement that we've had with the, we have had with the Chinese is one of the more creative and innovative things that uh, our, our government has done in many, many years. Because, what do you say? You are having access to a lot of money for you to attack one of your most important areas of deficit, your infrastructure, your roads, your railways. Um, and that at the same time, the monies that you are getting are not appearing on your, on your balance sheet because you're paying for it, not with cash, but with product. And we've made it very clear that in the arrangement that we're having with the Chinese, the bauxite that we're going to send to them is not raw bauxite or even alumina. It's aluminium products. Okay. That's a major advance. We're, we're not, as always, then going to be handing over our raw materials for somebody else to treat and add value and then send back to us. On the contrary, we will be sending finished products 
to China to pay for, as it were, to pay for the facility that we're getting. I think it's a very creative idea. And I, I, would, I would have uh, expected people to recognize that this is quite a novel and intelligent way of doing things. Um, and by that process, we're not burdening our debt profile, we're not adding to our debt stock because it's a butter arrangement. Be sure to join us tomorrow when we bring you part two of Peter Claude's interview with Ghanaian President Nana Akufo-Addo.